So in this one about the pilot, Jacqueline Cochran, there's a split between two ways of constructing the comparison. And I've isolated this down here. A and B follow the first one, C, D, and E follow the second one. So, so, and then some adjectives, so blank for many X to be Y, as opposed to so blank that many X were Y. The star was so hot for many scientists to be confused. That really sounds awkward. The star was so hot that many scientists were confused. That sounds very direct and clear. So this first one is wrong. And that's exactly what we have in answer choice A. And in fact, the telltale sign 2B, that whenever you see 2B in the sentence correction, at least a red flag should go up in your mind. That's not a good sign for an answer choice. So that eliminates A and B right away. C, D, and E have the correct construction of that. But then another thing to look at is the pronoun used with time. So we have time when. That's correct. When is the proper pronoun to use with time. Time that, time in which, those are not correct. Time when is correct. This one I love the most. Time where. Oh my god. You don't really need to understand the theory of relativity when you're taking the GMAT, but you do need to know there's a basic difference between space and time. Of course, space we use where, time we use when, and the twain should never meet. So that eliminates C and D right away, and really the only answer left is E. E is direct, it's clear, it's unambiguous, it has no grammatical mistakes, and it is by far the strongest answer, a top-flying answer indeed.